Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here, and with me I have Dusty, coach of the Knights. Hello. How you doing, Dusty? Not doing too bad. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. All right. Now, to break down this draft situation, since you weren't supposed to be part of it to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, you were able to take over for a coach that wasn't available. Um, with your short prep time, were you able to get the Pokemon you wanted first? Uh, yeah, actually. I think I got everything that I wanted from each of those tiers, so it wasn't too bad. Who'd you pick up for your first pick? I uh, took Corviknight from tier one. Oh yeah, bulky skill type, always a pain to deal with. Yes. Is there any particular reason why you chose Corviknight over anyone else? I've been in a few tournaments where I've won basically just Corviknight, so I'm hoping I can keep that going. That's pretty fair. All right, man. Well, um, you said you were pretty happy with all your picks. Um, overall, who's the favorite Pokemon on your team right now? Um. Probably Chansey. <laughs> <laughs> Old Chansey's back and going to help you wreak havoc with the defensive core. I hope so. <laughs> so, you said you got pretty much everything you wanted. Did you get sniped at all? Um. There was. I can't remember who it was, but like about halfway through picks, I decided I really needed a poison type just in case. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't remember who I was aiming for. I think it was Drapion, but it got picked. I think it was the first free pick for somebody that got picked, so I had to think about who I wanted. I ended up taking Dragalge. Yeah, and even then, most people would say Dragalge is probably the better pick. Yeah, I've got a few battle-ready Dragalges. I've used them a few times. Certainly, man. You per you pretty much got your... Uh... You pretty much got your... Uh... You don't really have cores, actually. I'm looking at that right now. So the very normal, uh, very steel, uh, very steel, god damn it, I can't think. <laughs> very steel dragon, there we go. And fire, water, grass. You don't really have that, but how do you fare against it without it? Uh, I, for the free picks I was thinking about, I ended up taking Mag Mortar just so I could have a fire. If there weren't really a lot of fires left. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to be okay with what I got. Alrighty, man. Well, without giving too much uh, strategy behind it, what do you plan to do with this team? Um, well, I got a lot of bulk, so um, I've never been particularly good at singles, but I'm hoping with some bulk and some of the strategies I do have in mind that the slow, hard hitters can take the hits and dish them out. Alright, and after uh, taking a break from last single season, do you feel like you're more rejuvenated and ready to play singles this time around? Yeah, yeah. Uh, singles aren't my favorite, <laughs> but they're fun. Alrighty. Are you surprised by any of the Pokemon that weren't drafted? Uh, well, the things that were left in Tier 1, we obviously had to take and leave, but I'm surprised a bunch of stuff got left in Tier 1. I know that there have been a few changes. I saw somebody drop Dragonite, I think, for Blaziken a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Um... I think everything that was taken was pretty fair. I don't think there was anything left behind that couldn't be used. Alrighty, and if, uh, are you planning to make any changes to your team right now, or you want to wait and see what happens? No, I'm sticking with the team I have for now. Okay. Um, judging on your team, your opponent's teams in the dock, which team do you see having the most trouble with? Well, you and I have always gone head-to-head, -head, so <laughs> no matter what we draft, I assume it's going to be one of those. Um, and then my first opponent, she's the only one I've really looked over. Um, she's got Blacephalon, so, and that, that goes up against my Tier 1 Corviknight. Like, so that's the only real worry I have there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certain you can pull through <laughs> with any strategy you decide to come up with. Uh, oh, your, I hope so. <laughs> your team certainly looks scary, and uh, let's see here. Mag Mortar, are you going to scarf that thing at all, or are you just pretty much going to use it as like a fire pivot? I honestly haven't used a Mag Mortar since like Gen 4, so I'm not 
too sure what I'm going to do with him. I just know I wanted somebody with fire. <laughs> and uh, I saw you got Hitmon Lee. That's one I was actually looking at. Uh, you're going to do some unburdened shenanigans with that. Yeah, normally I take Hitmon top, but I think he got picked before I could take him. Oh, that makes sense. Well, that's pretty much all the questions I had. We kind of ran through those pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anything you want to say to the fans before we go? Uh, I just hope that anybody that's watching really enjoys it. I'm going to try and explain my strategies as I go, but like sometimes I feel like uh, an idiot and I just do what feels right in the moment. So. <laughs> hey, uh, all you can do is play with the heart. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alrighty, Dusty, thank you for your time, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.